Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hello, Alma. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. Hey. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, Tatiana. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Tati. Hello, Jenny. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Cecil. Wilson. Hello. Okay, don't forget to activate your camera. Okay, Irving. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, good evening. I'm fine. So, okay, willing to. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hi, hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, Cecil. Good to see you in the class. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really glad to see everyone here. Hello, Gloria. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm checking. Hey, do me the favor to activate your, your camera. Remember, it's important, right? It is important for me to see you in the class. I mean, activate your camera. If you don't have any technical problem, do me the favor to activate it, okay? Well, um, I'm really happy to see you again, and I hope that we are going to go through a new adventure, okay? We are going to learn something new today. I hope that you could see the video in the WhatsApp group. And if you couldn't do so, you can you can see it later, right? But the most important part over here is that you uh, practice English most of the time, right? I hope that you have done it during the day. I hope that you have been that you have been practicing English, uh, that you studied English on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, and now coming back to the class. I hope that we are going to have a great time together once again. Okay, now, oops, let me see, let me see. Uh, okay, now, well, we're going to start, you know, uh, I will uh, share, I will share the information uh, with you. I have something here. Okay, uh, you know, this week is uh, for us to start with the new topic, right? Uh, we're gonna see some uh, vocabulary related to stores and places, and we're going to discuss where can we get different things, all right? So I wonder uh, where you go whenever you need to buy something. I mean, maybe um, soap or maybe um, something that you need at home. Okay, so actually this is, this is, our, this is our topic for, for tonight, okay? But you can read it in Spanish, okay? I will read it in English, okay? But you can see it in Spanish. At the end of this session, you will learn vocabulary about stores and other places and discuss where you can buy different things, okay? That is the purpose for today. And we're going to start as quickly as possible so that we, we can move on. So we're going to start learning some vocabulary. Are you ready? Ready. Ready, all right, so that's the attitude. I want everybody to be like, uh, let me see, let me see. Teacher, no so, puedo lo comparte. No. Okay, give me one second, please. I will I will I will try once again. Maybe okay. no, I will try. I will try. Okay, let me know if you can see it now. Can you see it now? Can you see the information? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Ah, all I right. see. Okay, now you can see. Oh, okay, now. You can see the information that the people are presenting over here. Okay, let me see if I can I can open it in in YouTube directly. Okay, yeah, I think it's possible. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. 
No, you, give me one second. Can you see the info in YouTube? Hi, everyone. In this class, can you see the information in YouTube? Yes. Yeah, now, okay, now, over here, <laughs> look at his face. Okay. And let me see, I will move this so that we can see everything here. Okay, here we go. Now, vocabulary for stores and other places. Now, I want you to be ready, please. You can get, get ready. Things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Now, question. Do you listen to it clearly? Do you listen to it clearly? Yes. 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 All right. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, so here we go. Yes, okay, let, let us get yes, concentrated. Yes. Let us get concentrated. The vocabulary about places and things. All right. Here we go. One. Okay. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Hey, where can you buy an aspirin? Pharmacy. Uh, you, uh, a a pharmacy. Drugstore. Uh, you can buy it in a drugstore. Uh, now, I will ask continuously, okay? About in a, at, at a pharmacy or in at a drugstore. Okay, number two, here we go. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Hey, where can we get some bread? Where can we get some, some bread? Bakery. Basically. At a bakery, but also the supermarket. at the supermarket, at the restaurant, etc. Now, let us listen to the next one. Three. Number three, here we you go. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Hey, where can I get a dictionary? A bookstore. A bookstore. I, would, bookstore. I, I can get it at a bookstore. At the library. At the library. <laughs> Mm, at school we can get one right all right hey we can we can get a dictionary at, at in the in the play store right okay so do me the favor people who have the microphone activated remember that if you are not participating you, please do me the favor to deactivate the microphone now here we go with the next Listen to me. Uh, listen to the audio. Four. Number four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Hey, where can we get some gasoline? Gas station. Gas we can get it at the gas, gas station, station, right? Now, everybody, gas station. Gas station. I hope that you're... Gas the, station. Yeah, gas, gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas yeah, gas station. station. Gas station. Gas, the gas station. station. All right. Now, next part. Yeah. Five. Number five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Hey, where can I get a sandwich? At the restaurant. Restaurant. Ah. restaurant. restaurant. We can buy a sandwich in, in a restaurant. restaurant. At the cafeteria. At the cafeteria. At the coffee shop. At the coffee shop. Bread. Right. Hey, do you think we can prepare? We can prepare a very delicious sandwich at home. Yes or no? Yes. 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 You can prepare, right? Chicken sandwich or a jam sandwich. Okay. So uh, we I think we are we are not chef, okay, but we can prepare a sandwich. That is something that is not that difficult. Next. Six. Number six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Uh where can we get some stamps? No, library. At the post office. At the post office, post at the library. Mm, I, it will be kind of difficult, but I think we can, right? But most of the time we can get it at the post office, right? Listen to the next one. Yes. Seven. Number seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Hey, where can we get a sweatshirt? A store. Oh, we can get it the in a store. store. Okay, there are different stores in El Salvador, right? You think about, about them, and well, the, the sweatshirt is going to come to your mind. Now, here we Four. go. Eight. Number eight. eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Hey, where can we get some traveler checks? 
In the bank. We can get them at the bank. Okay, we can get them at the bank. Okay. Okay. No. Okay, Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Now let's see. I will ask some people. I will ask some people about about things that we can we can get. Okay. Now, uh, Carlos, where can we get some bread, Carlos? Carlos Ernesto, where can we get some bread? We can get some bread in the bakery. Oh, we can get some bread at the bakery. Okay. Now, Alba, where can we get a dictionary? A library. We can get it at a library. In, in, in a store. At a store also? Yes. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Very good. Alma, where can we get, uh, let me see, what else do you remember? Some stamps. Us, uh, in at post office. I can get it at a post office. All right. So let me see. Fatima, where can we get? Is Fatima here? Yes. Okay, Sorry. Fatima. All right. So Fatima, where can we get a book? Oh, give me one second. <laughs> All right. Wow. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't know a book. Uh, the you hear a dictionary, right? And a dictionary is yes. a book, but it may be a yeah. different book. Maybe a science book. A school. It's a history. A school. Ah, we can get it uh, at school. All right. Uh, a school. You can get it at school. Okay. All right. So and we can we can get. Uh, books there at the library also or a bookstore. Bookstore. All right. So now bookstore. that we know, yeah, at, at a bookstore, right? Fantastic. Excellent. Wow. So you see, now we got familiarized with the topic, right? Now we know about places and things. All right, places and things. Now we got familiarized. I will move on to the next part. Okay. I will move on to the next part. And over here, uh, well, we're going to uh, listen to a conversation. And, uh, you know, we are going to try to, to answer some questions over here. But before getting to, to this part, I want you to uh, get concentrated and, and get as much, as much information as possible. All right? Here we go. Let me know if... Uh, give me one second. This is point two, all right, here we go. Now, listen Page carefully. 87, exercise. Now, let us make, let us make a, a, this exercise, but at the same time, let us get um, some information. Uh, I will switch into Spanish a little bit so that you, you get my idea. Me voy a pasar unos minutitos, perdón, al español. Pero quiero que cada vez que nos metamos a un audio, que ustedes escriban ideas, que escuchen ahí. Porque yo al final les voy a preguntar, ¿de qué se trató el audio? ¿Ok? Y después vamos a responder a esas preguntas. Porque de esa manera aprovechamos más el ejercicio, obtenemos ideas generales y de ahí nos vamos al ejercicio como tal. ¿Está bien? Ok, ya voy a empezar a preguntarles a, a todos. Quiero que todos participen. Here we go. Exercise two. Exercise listening. Two. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Uh huh. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Two. Get an idea. Get an idea. Are you right? going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Number three. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. 
Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. All right, number four. I think there is one more. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? <laughs> All right. Now, we have four situations, right? So I will ask four people to tell me what's going on with the, with, with the situation. Is that right? Tell me at least a short sentence, no matter. If you tell me a short sentence about this, the situation, it's all right, okay? Or maybe you can tell me something you, you heard in the audio, but it's all right. So situation number one, Cecibel, did you listen to something about the situation number one? Update department store. Have you heard something about a, 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 a store? All right. Who wants to help Cecibel? What do you listen to about conversation number one, people? It's all right, Cecibel. Good. Okay. Uh, what is Jean? What to buy this? We sweet thing she nips. Great. Great. So you remember about the conversation itself. Pretty good. Uh, I will ask another person. Conversation number two. Situation number two. Christopher Raul. What do you remember about it, Christopher? Hello, teacher. Hello, buddy. What do you remember about situation number two? Mm, situation number two. Yeah. If, if you don't remember anything, tell me. I'm sorry, teacher, I don't remember. Teacher, I don't remember. All right, it's okay, no Honestly. problem. No yes, problem. Me, it's me, teacher. <laughs> okay, Fatima, go ahead. Uh, number two. Yeah. Okay. What does mom need for take supermarket? It's cookies for threat. Is they're cooking? Yeah. Ah, okay. Cookies. Yeah, cookies for threat. Okay, we're going to listen to it later. Okay, so that we can reaffirm the information. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you pretty much. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, situation number three. Uh, let me see. Uh, Gloria Carolina. There's no problem if you, if you if you tell me, teacher, I'm so sorry, I don't remember. It's all right, no problem. Yes, I don't remember. You don't, Gloria? No. Okay, so I will play it a second time, then we're gonna practice once again, but it's all right, Gloria, it's okay. Hector, what do you remember about situation number three? Oh, uh, let me see, someone is in the chat. Ah, uh, Jorge is greeting everyone. Okay, Jorge David. Jorge David, what can you tell me about situation? Ah, Susana wants. Uh, Dad needs, needs an aspirin. Ah, somebody needs an, an aspirin. Who needs an aspirin? Susana? Susana, you want to say something? Hello, Susana. That needs an aspirin. Ah, uh, someone needs an aspirin. All right, very good. And the last situation, situation number four. Number four, let me see. Um, well, Susana already... Susan. What about Wilson? Wilson, situation number four, please. I don't remember, teacher. You don't? 
All right, I, I will play, I will play. Let me see, I will try with another person. Jenny, do you remember something about it? Jenny? The situation. Number four. Eh, number four. Eh, no sé si era la de el niño que quiere ir a ver la movie. <laughs> what do you remember? But, eh, but, bueno, uh -huh. escribí, escribí idea de las tres. Ah, uh, you wrote down about three, but the last one you didn't. Okay. The uh, first, the uh -huh. first, the girls need a swim suit to right. go at the beach. Entonces, tienes que ir a, a, a de, la tienda de departamento. De departamento. Uh, all right. Try not to switch to Spanish, please. Try to do it full English. Ah, uh, the department, department store. So buy the, the swing suit. All right. All right, Jenny, that's it. And the second. Tell me about second. Uh, uh, She's need aspirin and let's go to the drug, drugstore. To the drugstore. Drugstore. All right. Drugstore. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right. I can see some people raise hand. For example, Susana. Susana wants to say something. Okay, Susana. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Susana, I can see that you that you raise your hand. No. <laughs> Se me había olvidado bajarla. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but uh, Alma wants to participate. All right, Alma, go ahead. The third situation. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh, third situation. Uh, a boy calls my ghost movie, but he don't know what movie to see. All right. And and her mother says. Uh, ask ask him as as her uh, ah, it's ask, a lady right uh -huh. um, he 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 um, see the newspaper ah, okay what movie all right uh -huh. that is the last uh -huh. right the number four uh -huh. okay now let us try to answer as a group okay i will ask some other people to participate okay because i want everybody to do it hey where is jean going to buy the swoon the swimsuit that she needs give me one second diana letter a i mean number one number two or number three diana gabriel uh -huh. Number one. No, and a number one is the option two. Ah, uh, it's second. Okay, second option. Department store. Uh -huh. At, the, at yes. the department store. Very good. Thank you, uh, Hector. What about number two? What does mom need for from the supermarket? Alberto. Hello, Adalberto. Adalberto, let me see. What's this? The new from the drugstore. Spring. Uh, oh, okay, Jorge David. So is what does what does mom need from the supermarket? What's a mom uh, need from the supermarket? Cookies for dessert. Ah, uh, cookie for dessert. All right. Number three. Thank you, Jorge. All right, Jorge Alberto, what about number three? What does that need from the drugstore? In the last one, aspirin. Ah, he needs in aspirin, very good. Now, Irving, Irving, where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the movies. Huh? To the movies? Yes. Okay. To the movies. Uh, okay, he's... Uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the movie or to the drugstore? I don't know if girl... 
Uh, to the movies, all right. If you say to the movies, we will check it later. And that's it, right? Now let us see the answers and then you will tell me what you see. In the first one, all right, at the supermarket store, uh, no, at the department store. So she's getting the swimsuit there. Number two, cookie for dessert, very good. Number three is an aspirin. And number four, to the move. Very good. Fantastic. Now let's move on, people, because we need to advance. Okay. Remember, this week you have your midterm activity, right? And look, in the next part, uh, you are going to learn about the way um, to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Okay. I share some information in the WhatsApp group about what's going on with compound nouns, and we're going to see a video over here, right? So time to, pro to pronounce to pronounce some words, all right? So be ready. Le let's be ready, okay? This is quite important, okay? So that you can, you can see what's going on. Compound nouns, post office, gas station, restaurant, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Let's see. Let's see and let us listen to it. I hope that you repeat a Hi, poem. Everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Listen and practice. Compound practice. nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Stress. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Drugstore. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. Department store. Department store. Now I will ask some, some of you to repeat, please, so that we can we can see if you are pronouncing correctly. Um, Hector, please. Adalberto, first one. Hector. Hello. Hey, what's going on to to Hector? Is Hector in the class? Well, I will check it later. Okay, it seems as if Hector is not in the class. Uh, it is Elizabeth, first one, please. Yes, it's post office. Post office, very good, fantastic. Uh, Jorge Alberto, the second one. Gas station. Gas station, very good. Jose Enrique, the third one. Jose Enrique, is Jose Enrique here? Well, I will check it later, all right? Uh, Jose Luis, number three. Jose Luis, hello, Jose Luis. Castro, Mr. Castro. Uh, Jorge David? Restroom. Uh, restroom, very good, thank you, Jorge. Uh, then we have uh, Jose Oscar Herrera. The next one, please. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. All right. Then we have uh, Julio Cesar. What about the next one, Julio? Drugstore. Drugstore. Perfect. And then we have Catherine Judith. The next one. Well, it seems as if Catherine is not here. Catherine Roxana, go ahead, please. Supermarket. The supermarket, very good. Kenya, let's move on to the next one. Bookstore. Bookstore, all right. And the last one, we have Katie. Uh, let me see, let, we have Norma Beatriz. Teacher again. Oh, sure, Christopher, go ahead. Okay, department store. Department store, all right, Christopher. That's fantastic. Now, I wonder if there is somebody who wants to read them all. Can me ayuda a leerlas todas? I can, teacher. Sure. 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 It's all right. Okay. Okay, okay I try. Oh, all right. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Drugstore. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. 
department store. Department store. All right. Now, uh, everybody, think about a sentence about it. Piensen todos en, en, en una oración en inglés. Ya voy a preguntar. Okay, Diana, all of them, please. De repetir la cuestión, please. ¿verdad? Yeah, that's okay. right, Diana. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Fantastic, very good. Now, uh, let me see, Rebecca Michelle. Rebecca Michelle. Hello, Rebecca. Eh, Reina Concepción. Hello. Hello, eh, Reina. Could you please uh, read all of them? Yes. Um, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and department store. Fantastic, great pronunciation. Salvador Galdames. Hi, teacher. Hello, Salvador. Do it a favor to read them all. What? Could you please read all of the words? Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Drugstore. Supermaker. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. Department store. And the department store. Very good. Now we're going to move on to the next part. Let me see. I think we still have something else I would here. like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. What are compound nouns? Here we go. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun station is a noun together they make up a different noun All right. now that we understand what compound nouns are i would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns stressing words in english is a big topic however in this class we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only so the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Practice, Post please. office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Restroom. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. Department store. Department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we're going to go over uh, another activity. I will give you five minutes. Okay, now let me see. I will stop a. Uh, I will stop sharing. No, it's all right. It will be this way. Uh, I will give you five minutes. You have to look for at least three compound nouns and type it in the chat. All right. Le doy cinco minutos para que busquen tres eh, nombres compuestos en la web y lo digiten en el chat. Okay. Aquí vamos a estar viendo quiénes son los que participan. Okay. Three compound nouns and then you type it in the chat. All right. Now, five minutes. We're going to spend five minutes in this activity. Okay, so be ready. Three compound nouns in the chat, please. I'm reading. Three compound nouns. Okay. Three compound nouns. Three. All right. Okay. Keyboard, wrinkle, sunflower. Okay. Wonderful. 
Orai, Alma, Jose, Orai, Alma and Jose already participated. I want to see Sandra Guadalupe, Silvia Carolina. Notebook, all right. <laughs> that is the easiest one, right? Notebook, waterfall. That's that's right. Notebook, blackboard, earring, boyfriend, skateboard. All right. Wow, a lot of people participating now. Paper bar. Then we have girlfriend, playground. Wow, can you see a lot of compound now? Bedroom. Okay. A viewpoint, seafood, okay, policeman, rainbow, wow, highway, good, oops, let me see, let me see, people are still participating here, pretty good, goldfish, okay, F fireman, I think that was the one, right, okay, fantastic, now, now if you identify compound nouns, right? That was the that was like the like the goal. That was like the goal. Excellent. Wow, I can see that you are still participating there. Excellent, Cecilia. Good. Wow. You can take notes if you wish, right? Wow, pretty good. Now, now that we know about what's going on with, with compound nouns, okay. Let us see what's going on. I think we're going to see a, a video, right? Well, at least this is a 3.4. Let's move on to the next part. Because over here, um, we're gonna go over some prepositions of place, all right? But why are we going to study prepositions of place? Because we are going to try to, to keep direction, as and keep direction. That is the purpose also. Besides uh, knowing about compound nouns, let me see some people are still chatting. Okay, city center, a boyfriend, paperback, good. Good people, great job, great job. But you know, besides uh, studying about compound nouns, we are going to learn some prepositions, okay, to give directions, okay, but not, not any preposition, but prepositions of place. The purpose to give directions. Okay. Besides that, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real situation. Okay. 3.6. Let's let's go over there now. But over here, let me see. I think it's very if we see it in, in YouTube. Give me one second. I will try to. You could also get... say. Mar no. All right. Hey. Public restroom around. Let me see. I need to. Well, I think this is the best we can see. Let me see. There is somebody that's chatting. Jenny, textbook, C4, and underwear. Good. Hey, now, guys, now, over here, we're going to go over a conversation, and uh, you are going to listen to it. You are going to tell me what's going on, what's everything all about, and then we're going to practice, okay? Me van a decir de qué se trata la conversación en sus propias palabras. Piénsenlo. Usen el traductor, lo que ustedes quieran, pero lo importante es que cuando yo les pregunte, participen. No importa si se equivocan un poco, mucho, o no se equivocan, lo importante es que practiquemos, ¿ok? Mantengamos siempre esa actitud de participar y nos va a ir mucho mejor en la clase. Let me see. Ok, everybody, Monla and Highway. Very good, Norma. Wow, people are still participating there. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. 
I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. No. It's on the corner of... Give me one second, please, because we need to see what's going Main on Main and this. First... Okay, let's forget about the subtitles. I don't want subtitles now. Okay, because I want to see what's going on here. Now I will read it. Okay, and then you 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 will notice about something that we are going to study today. Okay, prepositions. All right, we're gonna see what's going on there, and I will start. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Now this is a structure that we're going to start to study later. Keep it in mind. Is there a public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Uh, no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's, now this is something else that we are going to learn later. Keep it in mind, in the department store on Main Street, on, on Main Street, now yes, this is important, right? This is preposition on Main Street, where on Main Street, on, on is coming once again, it's on the corner, it's on the corner, okay, of Main and a First Avenue on the corner of main and first on. Now it's emphasizing about the preposition on, but we will see that we have more than, than that one, okay? Yes, yes, it's across, okay? We have this one across from the park. You can't miss it, thanks a lot, all right? So I wonder if you have some questions regarding to this. What is the conversation all about? Uh, let me see. Eh, Sandra Guadalupe, what, what is the conversation all about? ¿De qué se trata la conversación? Sandra. Él eh, pregunta dónde hay un baño. Restroom. Ah, he needs to. Restroom. Ah, he needs to go to the restroom, right? Okay. Very good. Eh, Silvia, what do you think? Is there any new, a new, is there a new word? For you, Silvia Carolina. Oh, maybe Silvia is not uh, here. I will check it later. And I don't know if Edita is over here, Edita. No, all right. Okay, people. Now, I want you to keep in mind that we are going to see this information later. Vamos a estudiar esto después. Esto no es una preposición, pero yo lo señalé para que ustedes lo tengan en mente porque pronto lo vamos a estudiar. All right? Now let's see. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right? Look, please. First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On. On the corner of. On the corner of. Across from. Across from. Next to. Next to. Between. Between. The department store is on Main Street. The department store is on Main it's Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the, the restaurant. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Now, we have a map over here. But now, as you can see, we have on, we have on the corner of, across from, next to, in between. Now, if I ask you, um, on, you can see the image over here, right? Now, it's, this is going to be very important because it's going to help us to provide uh, or to give direction. And now, if I ask you, hey, where is the department store? Who wants to answer? Where is the department store? 
The department store is on Main Street. Street. The department store? Street. Ah, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the Main Street. All right. Street. And as you can see on, do you use it? As you can see in the in the picture, you use it to tell the street, right? What what street you are talking about? What about if I, uh -huh. uh, it's on the corner of Main Street and First, Main Street and First. Okay, this is this is the this is the other one, right? On the corner of now, something that I want you to keep in mind regarding to pronunciation is that. You don't say off, okay? Let me see this part. You say on the corner of of. On the corner of. Yeah, it's as if you say it in Spanish like this one, right? Of of. Okay. Of. Yeah, don't say off because if you say off, that is another word. All right. Okay. Now and then we have. Uh, yeah, what about if I ask you, hey, where is the bank? It's party city. It is next, next to the bank. It is next to the bank, the, right? The bank is big between. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Perfect. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Very good. Now, there are three, I mean, that one, two, three, four and five prepositions of place that are gonna be very useful when creating um, or when giving direction. We're gonna go over the map. The restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. Location. The department store. Uh, look. The department store is on Main Street. Now, where is the department store? Main um, Street. It's on Main Street. Okay, can you type it in the chat, please? The answer, can you Main. type the, the answer in the Main chat? Main Street. It's on the First Avenue. Okay, it's on Main Street. Or you can say it's on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street, right? Now, let's listen. It's on the corner of Main and First. Are you see? It's across from the park. Now, once again, hey, where is the department store? Tell me a different one. You said the first one, right? It's on Main Street. It's uh, on the corner of First in Main Street, First Avenue in Main Street. It's across from the park. That is the next one. It's next to the bank. It's next, hey, now where is the bank, people? Where is the bank? <laughs> Next to the Maria's restaurant. Uh, all right. Is next to movie theater. Is all right. Is next to Maria's restaurant. Is next to the department store. It's between the department store and the main. And the Maria. A Maria restaurant. Now let, let's let's keep listening. Let's see. Let's continue. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. All right. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Meaning. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. All right. The US Post Office. The US Post Office is on Center, Center street. street. 
let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. All right. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? All right. Now here, there, there is where you're going to answer the following questions, okay? Where is the gas, is the gas, gas station? Let me see, I, I still have some people who haven't participated. Let me see. Now, or I mean, it's, uh, I will ask for volunteers in this, in this part. Let me see, I will, I'll try to, try to copy or try to take notes about the questions, please. And then we're going to try to answer them. Is the hospital? Where is the Where hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is the U.S. post Where office? Is Second Avenue bookstore. Where is Dam's drugstore? Okay. At now, take notes, please. Take notes. Tomen apuntes y eso lo van a, a contestar en sus cuadernos. Okay, le va a quedar de tarea. Don't forget to uh, deactivate your your microphone, please. Turn it off. Thank you. Thank you. Now, did you finish? Now, people, don't forget to activate your camera, please. Quite important for me. Oh, Cecibel, do you have problems, Cecibel? Cecibel, are you here now? Oh, Cecibel has some problems. Okay, Salvador, are you done? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. I think, I think you already finished. It's on Main Street. Uh, okay, Diana. Teacher, esa imagen nos la va a mandar. This one. Jenny, you you can you can get it in the platform. I mean, you can see the the video. 
en el video de la plataforma está Jenny. Sí, che, no sé si es mi internet, pero se ah, escucha bien mal. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It seems as if we are facing some problem, but do you listen to me clearly now? Yes, teacher, I'm clear. Okay, now I, I will stop sharing. I hope that you could uh, take notes and I will move on to the last part. Let me see. Creo que algunos tuvieron dificultades. Okay. Este, nos faltan unos minutitos por ahí, pero... Este, veo que algunos tuvieron dificultades, como que lo sacó la plataforma. Por ahí vi a Cecibel que la sacó y no sé quién más tuvo problemas. Eh, solo voy a hacer algunas, algunas recomendaciones para que las recordemos, chicos. Este, recuérdense que cuando estemos en clase y estemos participando, podemos activar nuestro micrófono. Cuando no lo estemos haciendo, lo vamos a desactivar, ¿ok? Porque si hay dos personas que tienen activado el micrófono más eh, mi micrófono, ya vamos a ver tres, este, que vamos a estar interrumpiendo la, la, la actividad. Entonces, este, para que no haya interferencia, cerremos nuestro micrófono y cuando vayamos a participar, hagámoslo con toda la libertad del mundo. La verdad, los vuelvo a felicitar cada vez que entro a esta clase. Me siento súper motivado porque ustedes están ahí siempre atentos, siempre participando. Y ¿saben qué es lo que me encanta de, de este grupo? Si, si se equivocan, pues no le tienen miedo a equivocarse. Y de eso se trata, de practicar, practicar, practicar. Si me equivoco una vez, eso no quiere decir que soy malo en inglés. Al contrario, eso quiere decir que estoy mejorando. Eh... Quiero que se sientan cómodos en las, en las sesiones, que se sientan eh, confiados de participar. Es sumamente importante para mí que ustedes lo hagan, porque si yo los veo entusiasmados aprendiendo, eso me inyecta mi energía. Me inyecta energía y me dan más ganas de enseñar lo mejor que pueda. No sé si hay algún comentario de parte de ustedes. Silvia. Ok. Ok, yo eso lo voy a... Gracias, Silvia. Lo voy a, lo voy a preguntar, no entiendo por qué. A lo mejor el inter... Ah, miren, algunas veces es porque eh, tenemos alguna falla nosotros, o ya sea yo en, en casa o ustedes en casa. Eh, algunas veces nos falla el internet y posiblemente por ahí venga la situación. ¿Verdad? Este, si les sucede eso, que lo saca de la plataforma, vuelvan a ingresar. Eso no es ningún problema, ¿ok? De hecho, yo ya pasé lista, solo quiero mencionar algunas personas que no escuché que participaran para estar seguro de que ellos no estuvieron en clase. Por ejemplo, no escuché a Héctor, a Alberto. ¿Está Héctor por acá? No. Espérame que ver el chat. No. Veamos, entonces él no. José Enrique. José Enrique tampoco estuvo en la sesión. Present teacher. Ah, ok, José Enrique. Ok, le había puesto a José Enrique que no estaba. A no, no, eh, ahí comenté en, en el en el chat de WhatsApp de que no iba a poder encender la cámara porque venía camino a casa. Ah, perfecto, Enrique. Ajá, sí, y, no... y que tal vez si, si, si llegaba un poquito más antes, yo le iba a encender. Pero ya faltaban como cinco, siete minutos, ya dije, no, no, así termino. Perfecto, José Enrique, gracias por aclarar, porque si no yo les pongo que no estuvieron en clase y eso es lo que yo menos quiero hacer. José, okay, Luis, okay. José Luis Castro. Sí, José, no lo veo entonces acá, José Luis. Catherine Judith. Katie Tatiana. Rebeca Michelle. Present. Ok, Rebeca. That's quite good. Ok. And let me see. 
Silvia Carolina. Yeah, Silvia is over here. I can see her. Okay, Silvia, hello. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Bye, chicos. Si no los mencioné es porque si no tengo ninguna duda que ustedes sí estuvieron acá. Las disculpas del caso. Este, sí, este, yo no los escuché o algo. Pero este, por eso me gusta rectificar con la, con la asistencia. Los veo el día de mañana. Dios me los bendiga. Descansen. Se lo merecen. Eh, son geniales, la verdad. Y espero verlos bien y muy activos en la clase mañana. See you tomorrow. Sí, 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 sí. Sí, sí. Reina, do you want to say something? Reina, oh, se nos fue Reina. Tenía su manita levantada. Bueno. Ok, goodbye. Teacher, eh, yo solo tengo un pequeño inconveniente. Dígame, Tatiana. Fíjese que yo el miércoles por, por cuestiones del trabajo, yo salgo a las nueve de la noche y no podría conectarme. Por eso los días anteriores no he podido conectarme porque he salido a las nueve de trabajo. Tatiana, espérenme, quiero ver cómo estamos acá. Tatiana Zúñiga. Sí. Ok, regáleme todo su nombre, Tatiana. Katie Tatiana Canales Zúñiga. ¿Tiene dificultades? Uh -huh. Se me han dado dificultades. Pero este, primero Dios las logre solventar, Katie, y, y, y la podamos tener ¿Sí? siempre con nosotros acá. ¿Ok? Sí, eh, sí. Lo de la plataforma sí lo voy completando. Hay que completarlo. Eso está Pero, perfecto. Y las clases que no las he recibido, pues retomo el video de YouTube, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, claro. Ahí lo puede encontrar. Ajá. Ahí, ah, sí. ahí es donde yo me he ido. Perfecto. Por lo mismo. O sea que si en dado caso no me presento, es por lo mismo. Ok. Bueno, ok. Muchas gracias por la comprensión. comprensión. Ok. Goodbye. Goodbye.